Hi, I'm Sultan Noor. Today I'm at Coastal Valley Nature Reserve here in Leeds. Let's go and take a look. To begin with, there's a muddy bit here. Puddles. Yes, muddy. And I see the uh, well, corridor of trees. Looks okay. Some water holding them here on the side. What's the state of it? There's a beer can there. So, uh, <clears throat> let's carry on walking. I see some leaves falling as well. I think there's a golf course up that, that end. And there's a railway track here, this side on the left. And it's muddy. So, uh, I think there's about a mile of a walk, just under a mile, to get to the end of this corridor and uh, take a right from there. There'll be, uh, that's where the ford is. The yeah, walk is not so bad, it's a bit muddy. Morning. Yep, some more mud. It's been raining the last few days, so, you know, mud was to be expected. It's not that bad. I'm walking at quite a pace, I'm not getting bogged down or slipping. So, uh, yeah. This is uh, just off a, is it Abbey Road that came down. I'll put in my description, as I usually do about my videos, where the location is to park. <clears throat> and uh, should anybody else wants to visit? Uh, the pass getting a bit better now. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, <coughs> just under a mile to get to the Ford. And, uh, it's a nice steady walk, it's flat. It's not uphill or downhill for now. I think push chairs and wheelchairs will will have a bit of a problem because it's not flat enough and it's a bit of muddy now <coughs> path there leads to nowhere And the path splits up here. <coughs> you can go right, and there's an opening up there, a little orchard. And uh, part of the river where the weir is, but I'm gonna go this way around. You can go up that side and come all the way around, then to the left and walk down. There's a bit of holding for the water. So, yeah, this is the path I've chosen. Muddy again. Mud's getting a bit harder to walk on. Uh, and I can feel myself sinking as well a bit. An inch. Definitely here as well. Yep. 
It's a bit dodgy on this side. I don't know. Not been in this weather. <coughs> and just walked before. Right. Yeah. Don't look like this path's been walked on much, but places are muddy. But then it's been raining a lot in this area for the uh, last 24 hours. Just, yeah. We're walking, slipping a bit as well. You know, feet are kind of like sliding into the mud. Prob it doesn't seem that scenic to me, I don't know if it's only me, but I don't know. You can argue nature deserves Oh yeah, God, this is a lot of... That was a bit boggy there. I don't know, you could argue. Nature deserves... It's left... As nature intended them. But then, if you're going to set them up for us to visit, you know, the dangers and the council, you know, don't need, do need to do some work. Well, we can safely visit them as well. A bit muddy here. It's getting harder. I hope. <laughs> Lot of effort to walk through there. And there. You need to have good walking shoes. Like, uh, good, well, yeah, I've got my walking shoes, I'm which I'm walking in. And I'm getting slowed down by the mud, sinking as well. Oh dear. Okay. And we near the end of it, nearly, I think. I can see the end of it in the, about 50 yards or so. I think, is it an end? Or does there bend? I'll see when I get there. Yeah, this long corridor. Um, flat, muddy walk. Uh, this is a good bit. Good bit of a scenic part of it. Bushes on either side. Trees overhead. Here we are, you can see the end of this path. You can hear the water, the river there. You can hear it, it's down there, down that bit. And what's this here? A bench. And a uh, sensor garden. Welcome to the sensor garden. Wildlife. The Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. There you go. This is. Um, it's called a sensor garden. Um, well, <laughs> what's more to say, it's called a sense of garden. That was it. And this path leads towards the river. I can hear it a bit now. And this is where uh, an old ford is for crossing. And uh, obviously, because it's been here for hundreds of years, it, must have been built for horse and cart, a bit muddy, and there's a sign for you what to do and what not to do. What is it? Can you see it? No, you can point it, I'll get it. And 
This is the path of the wood. Ride down and cross to the other side. Well, it says here in the marker pen, all coastal ford, under the date 1876. I don't know if this is the council or somebody just wrote it, it's not that clear. But it says 1896. Looks about, sounds about like 1876 is the date. So, uh, yeah. And that over on the other side, it's an island. If you look at Google Maps, whoever crossed it would have to come back across it back this side. And there's another sign. Do not try to be brave. Right. Let's continue back, walking towards the car again. This time we came from that side, we go the other way around. While there's a fork when we're walking towards here, one path led up to here, one path the other way. It's muddy but flat. This one's obviously a bit of a climb. And the river there, to my left. And it said, I'm not too sure, these are signposts. I think you meant to follow them. Let's try it. Yeah. That one number 13. This is number 14, so. I'm guessing you follow them. Not an expert in nature, there's a walking. But, but I'm learning. So, here we go. Mm. Right. Okay, there's a path here. I've joined on to. Right, if you can see through these trees, there's a weir down there. So, uh, obviously you can't walk down here, but let's continue. And there's a here, nice little opening. More effort could be spent on this nature reserve. To make it into a park, I think so. It's a bit muddy. It's kind of parks being being this muddy, but but where there's a will, there's a way. Right, this is number marker 15, and uh, some barriers down there, and there's a river weir. Let's go and take a look. Quite a bit of force in that water level. It's been raining in the area for the uh, last few days. Well, no, last day or so. So we've got this part of it, the corner.
Well, you just got your way. Here we are. In Coastal Valley Nature Reserve. Um, river there, and this is the way in the back. Quite a bit of fossil water in there. Take a look at another angle. Some plastic rubbish that's been washed down. See in the middle. And again, nature deserve the coastal valley leads river there, and it's got its own way. And we're looking at it. Okay. There it goes. And I walk back to the car. And this is the path that leads down and up. So you've got to have good, good legs. And certainly some good walking shoes. And we're back out to the opening. Yep. At the beginning of my walk, when I was walking on that flat path, I said it was about a mile of a walk, where there was a little fork. So this path will lead us back down to it. So those of you who want to do a more serious walk here, perhaps on a nice sunny day, I were all in the area and I saw this on Google. It's signposted, now this is number 17. So if you did your own work and uh, have a more thorough walk around here, catch up with all the signposts, find number one, <laughs> I have got a clue what it is. I've, well, there's maps around in the reserve. Well, they'll have a website. Coastal Abbey. No, not Co Coastal Valley Nature Reserve. And it's muddy here as well. So over in that direction, there's, there's a golf course. Did I even uh, film this sign? This is where the fork was and I continued walking up that way to the ford. But this is what it reads here. It tells you of the volunteers who maintain it, I think. And uh, the birds that are here, frogs, and butterflies and berries and so on. I'll, take a good angle of it, the signpost. You can pause it and have a read. There we go. Right. I think about half a mile back to on this flat path and it's the it's, it's, it hasn't got its designated uh, car park or such. It just you can park on the road and uh, can't think of the road now. I knew what it was called, but I've forgotten. As, al as always, my visits and walks and uh, my so-called vlogs, I always put in the description, you know, 
where I was at. So if you're interested in this little, what what was it? It took it's about a mile that way, mile back. It's about about two and a half miles walk if you just want to see the uh, old uh, Ford that was built in 18 something, 34, 74. I forgot what I read. And if that's true, I don't know if the council or that's only just scribbled it on. It was in a marker pen. And, uh, or if you, I want to bring the dogs for a walk. Yeah. But I was mainly interested in the uh, river. And I like the scenic. Uh, water that runs over the ways and added bonus in this reserve there was a ford if you like trains the busy set train track next to the reserve and that's what we see ahead of us corridor trees Path. Yeah, it's okay. It, it's not bad. You can see the odd kind of beers people have thrown over the hedge there. So I don't think everybody throws the beer cans over on the railway side. It's quite a flare. So what I'm trying to get at is the most people must have. Sadly enough, left them on this path, but you know, it is clean, no sign of rubbish. So, the council and the rangers or the trust of volunteers have done okay. Mm. Yeah, the path is quite good for the amount of rain that we've had. It's muddy, but it's not unbearable. You know, I've had no problem walking, and I'm not even a walker, to admit. I only walk for the sake of the filming. I don't mind walking, obviously, but I won't go out of my way to take a walk. <laughs> oh, only, only to film, I admit. Right, we're coming to the end of... Uh, and um, yeah, for what I googled before I came here, it just simply said this was a spot to enter the reserve. I don't know if you could park elsewhere to enter it because if it's a big reserve, they'll have other, uh, and other sides of it to enter. Because if you enter here and you want to exit somewhere else, I'm not too sure, but but I left here and then I came back here, so this is where we were. Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. Anyway, this was uh, Kirstall Valley Nature Deserve here in Leeds. Thanks for watching.